So THQ Nordic and Experiment 101 have just dropped details on a patch that has just landed on PC. So if you're playing on PC, this will have hit you or your platform already. But it's coming very soon indeed for consoles too. And the patch is pretty big with many, many incorporations into the game. Today we go through each and every detail. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more by your mutant, be sure to subscribe. So let's get into this thing because it is pretty long. So these are PC specific. Everything else today we speak about will uh, arrive with a patch on console sometime soon. So PC specific. Fix crash with AMD based CPUs with built in graphics. Fix crash when device info contains invalid display data and AMD based CPUs. And that's basically it for PC specific onto a tutorial area. In order to improve the pacing of the early parts of the game, we've edited dialogues to be shorter. We've also added more enemies and loot to these areas to better represent the experience later in the game. Added more early enemy encounters, added missing loot in empty trenches outside Gagny Fortress, added item drop chance for Bunker 101 crates, updated best before memory to decrease the distance between the nanos and the pensite tree, removed some parts of the out of date and best before dialogues to improve pacing, removed multiple dialogue fragments to shorten tutorial length. Remove some parts of Goop and Gizmo's dialogues uh, to improve pacing. Remove multiple camera presentations to improve pacing. Dialogue and narrator. Reduce the amount of gibberish broken before the narrator starts translating. Added dialogue setting toggles for gibberish and narrator, allowing players to select if they want to hear the narrator, the gibberish, or both when talking to NPCs. Fixed narration and gibberish playing silently and producing an awkward pause when each corresponding volume setting is set to zero instead of skipping the sound entirely. Remove the text delay animation when either gibberish or narration is disabled. Difficulty settings added extreme difficulty setting where enemy damage and attack rate is further increased. Fixed difficulty settings not being applied for already spawned enemies. New Game Plus opened up all class perks for New Game Plus games. When starting a New Game Plus game, the player will now be able to unlock perks from all classes. Wow. Settings added motion blur slider to the set. Well, this is. I'm not joking, guys. I'm sorry to interrupt, but. They are listening and they are providing to the community. This is 20 people working on the game. It's only been, what, a week? And we are seeing fixes already being incorporated. I mean, this is craziness. This is craziness. There's so many developers out there that could learn off this. It's unreal. So yes, they've added motion blur slider to the settings. Fix the camera setting, auto adjust player also applies for combat. If turned off, the camera will no longer try to frame enemies while in combat. Fixed depth of field toggle not being applied in dialogues. Items and loot. Increased chances that items found have a level requirements closer to the player's actual level when found. Players will still be able to find items with higher level requirements, but player level is now taken into account. Remove common item loot drops from high level loot crates. Reduce the amount of healing items that the player will find from crates and defeated enemies. Increase base damage from melee bodies, handles and add-ons by approximately 5%. Reduce base damage from ranged bodies, muzzles and grips by approximately 5%. Fix resistance stats not being applied for crafted gear when adding add-ons. Reduce gear add-on resistance and critical chance bonuses. Ensure that the quest reward diver's helmet will no longer drop as a random loot. Remove slots from all protective suits. Wow. Okay, I saw onto sound. Updated melee sound effects across the board. Updated man sound effects volume. Added sound effects for Tribe War Trebuchet. Updated sounds when a player lands inside HQ after being launched from Catapult. Combat. Fixed issue with abnormally high damage output due to consumable top mod applying meta damage multiple times during equip and unequip. Fixed ability damage not being able to inflict critical hits. Reduce Dead Eye Sharpshooter perk damage multiplier from 2.0 uh, to 1.25 to ensure that it is comparable to other perks. 
disabled end of combat slow motion camera for short combat scenarios, adjusted valid angles for combat targets to reduce camera movement in combat, disabled camera lock at when striking characters up in the air, fixed a few cases of where air striking would not complete its last attack, adjusted speed of some enemy grabs, it is now a bit easier to dodge them in time. Fix uh, the kick attack from small enemies being too difficult to parry. Parry window is now more consistent and enemies can be staggered out of it. All tribe seafers and looper looping in the final encounter now react stronger to being parried, allowing players to parry and then counter attack. Fixed issue with tracking on Jagni staff attacks. First three hits will no longer overshoot targets and dodge attack is more reliable. Fixed sometimes spawning double death particle effects on defeated enemies. Fixed issue with Pichu Nanchuk not stopping its animation. Fixed large enemies with melee weapons animating too quickly at slow walking speeds. Adjusted hit reactions for Morks to make melee more viable and satisfying to use. Fixed issue with dodge shooting while reloading, not moving the character correctly. Fixed issue with airstrikes sometimes being cancelled. Adjusted range for melee attacks to improve enemy tracking and reduce misses. Fixed issue when melee get closer would sometimes overshoot. Fixed backwards attack for crush weapons resulting in a miss most of the time. Adjusted animations for unarm and glove attacks to be faster. Fixed issue where the player would sometimes become stuck underneath large enemies after being knocked to the ground. Added ability to slide underneath legs of titans. Fixed issue where the player would sometimes get stuck inside an enemy after a vault or long slide move. Fixed issue where the player would sometimes get stuck inside an enemy after an airstrike. Adjusted the sound and rumble effect for successful parry to improve feedback. Fixed issue where airstrike would cause enemies to be launched very far. Improved aiming for jumbo puff when throwing rocks. Ok so quests and achievements. Fixed game progress not being able to reach 100% due to unavailable quest states within a single playthrough. Fixed back to the roots quest sometimes not being completed. Adjusted tribe war flow to be more robust. Fix the old world gadgets trophy correctly unlocking after finding old world gadgets. Crash fixes. Fix crash when moving objects between areas using telekinesis. User interface. New weapon wong fu is now only unlocked when the player has crafted a new weapon instead of being unlocked when looting an individual component. Add a correct fast travel locked message when attempting to fast travel while climbing a ladder or falling. Added mercenary DLC indicator to the main menu. Added dark backdrop to QTE prompts to improve readability on lighter backgrounds. Remove comic book effects to ensure that the counter QTE prompt is visible. Reverse hypoxia warning percent value to be consistent with other zones. Added fading to enemy and friendly markers at 30 meter distance to reduce HUD clutter. The world. Remove several area objectives from suburbia as they are tied to mood quest and could cause confusion. Replace a couple of NPC tasks that didn't work as intended. Added missing no rain volume to the sewer entrance and oil fuels to prevent indoor rain effect. Subnautic gear station is now fully covered by correct pulse process volume. Improve look for indoor puddles. Fix issue where the player was able to fall through the world in a myriad fortress. Fixed issue where the player was able to fall through the world in the Ankati outpost. Fixed issue where big oil planes were possible to walk on. Fixed oil field monster presentation camera being triggered underground. Fixed area objective for Gutway 6G counting incorrect amount of superb loot. Miscellaneous. Disabled fast travel when jumping from water. Wow, people, this was a lifesaver. Fixed issue where the unspeakable hand uh, Wung Fu could cause NPCs to fall through water surfaces instead of drowning. Fixed issue with a rocket NPC being stuck in the air after explosion. Fixed issue with a rocket NPC explosion particles effects popping when being removed. Adjusted 3 4 duration needed for mounts to trigger hard landing. Fixed attribute check labels in puzzles incorrectly being displayed as a loot chance instead of intellect. Fixed infinite jump while using photo mode. Wow! Fixed fireflies not spamming narration when caught. Fixed child memories being auto completed when opening photo mode. Fix some doors opening after using photo mode. Fix smoke from burning villages sometimes being rendered as stripes and AMD 
GPUs. Adjust the default camera pitch up a bit so it's not positioned directly behind the player. And fix resistance being reset after modifying appearance. And there we have it guys, an absolute enormous first patch, the 1.4 patch for Biomutant and they have addressed more or less every single complaint I've seen people make towards this game. Absolutely unreal, it really is. Is. So yes guys, tell me your thoughts on this down below within that comments section. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more bio music, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But it is good to see uh, THQ Nordic and Experiment 101 looking after their game. Adjusting things the community is not happy with, it shows they actually care. For a 20-man team, I think that's pretty damn decent. But yes, again, thanks as always for stopping by. Tell me your thoughts on the video and hopefully I will see you on that next.